you know, this book was really four years in the in the process of writing, and um, yeah, it was, wasn't an easy thing to do. It shouldn't it shouldn't be easy, you know. It shouldn't be to to write a book that means a lot to to many people. It would be absurd to think that it's an easy thing to do. And to write this book, I had to fund it myself. I had to prove to the world, the industry, and myself that I could do it. Um, so there wasn't. Um, it was, a, it was a risk, but it wasn't as though there was something else for me to do. There wasn't. I, I need some water. Um, so if, we could, could, if I could get some water and a double espresso, that would be fantastic. Yeah, and I'll keep it out of shot so you've got your continuity. And Sam Mendes invited me to this screening. And um, we were talking about what we were going to do next. And Sam said, uh, I'm going to direct the next James Bond film. And um, with the benefit of hindsight, talking about the, the film that became Skyfall with the benefit of hindsight seems like a good move you know a, a very wise move it's such a success critically commercially but at the time it was a big change for him a big change for us to go and make in art house movies to a big blockbuster and he said um, he loved the he loved the books the Ian Fleming books when he was a boy when he was 11 12 13 14 um, and he was going to try and capture that essence on screen and I felt, wow, I love those books too. And I remembered how much I loved those books. And I, um, I thought, I'll do that too. I'll, I'll reread all the Ian Fleming James Bond books. Good morning. Thank you very much. Thank you. Nice to see you. Cheers. Thanks. Thank you very much. I think I'd like it to be television rather than film because I think this is a golden age for television. And I think that the best television, like Breaking Bad, Sopranos, uh, True Detective, Fargo, the best, the best TV. They're like ten or twelve hour films. You know, that you do, can do things on TV that you can't do in a two-hour movie. Yeah, I, well, I, I like the, the BBC the BBC production of Sherlock Holmes, but I don't think that British TV has quite got to that level of um, of the American, of the greatest America. I mean, it's a lot of rubbish is made in America too, but the really great stuff like Breaking Bad, Sopranos, True Detective, Fargo, the British haven't done anything as good as that. You know, maybe they will, maybe they will with this, maybe if it's done properly, that would be my dream, that's my ambition, that this would be made into the kind of TV that can, can be with that. I, I really, I like the, I like the uh, Benedict Cumberbatch, Martin Freeman, sure, I'm a big fan of it, I liked it uh, very much, but it's not, it's not to me on the same level as, uh, as, as Fargo or True Detective or Sopranos, but it's just not as good. Because I've realised that my favourite stuff, my absolute favourite stuff on TV, is by when actors are in great scripts. And you've never really seen those actors before, like James Gandolfini in The Sopranos or Brian Cranston in Breaking Bad. Of course, it, you know these are working actors and they've been around. They did things before. It, I personally wasn't really aware of them until they exploded into this role that they appeared to be born for. So I would like it to be someone completely unknown.